So tell me that's not happening to you. You get your toast just right, you get the butter on it just right, head out to the garden, you're looking for a fresh beef steak and somebody labeled the plants wrong. As this happened to us a couple years in a row now where we think we're getting beef steaks because that's what the label says. Only for them to grow up to be one of these guys. It's kind of small. I take a whole lot of these to make a sandwich, but you can do it. So now I'm going to show you how to fix that problem today. We're going to take a tomato, and obviously I can't use a beef steak because I don't have one. But this is the biggest tomato we got. Not too bad. So I'm going to show you how to harvest the seeds out of this. And some of the other vegetables are not a lot different, but let's get started. All right, a couple things you're going to need. Obviously a knife to cut open the tomato and a metal strainer with the fine holes. First thing you want to do is cut the tomato open. We're going to expose the seeds inside. I hope that's picking that up there. You can see the seeds in there. Now the gel, I call it gel. It's not really gel. I don't know the actual name for it. But the gel that's around the seeds, what that does, it's there to, you know, it's got a lot of flavor to it. But however, its purpose is, is to stop the seeds from growing inside the tomato. True story. So what we want to do is we want to cut this open. Expose the seeds and we're just going to squeeze them into our strainer. You see all that gel comes with it there. Get as many as you can. So what we're left with is the seeds in the gel. So all you do is just scrub the seeds until the gel is gone. No worry, you're not going to hurt the seeds on the metal group. They're a lot tougher than you think they are. We'll just keep going around, so we'll just keep scrubbing them, and you can feel, I mean, the seeds are a little slippery because they still got that gel on them. And there is a pile of tomato seeds. From here, you're going to take a paper plate, put some napkins on it. And just kind of spread the seeds out on there as best you can. So now that we got them on here, we're just going to try and spread them out a little bit so they all dry on their own. They're going to stick to the paper towel. It doesn't really matter. Uh, even when you go to plant them, there may be some paper towels stuck to it. That should be, that'll be fine. Get all the seeds off your fingers. Now folks, each one of these is a tomato plant. So you can see how many seeds you can get from a tomato plant. And when you label your seeds, you'll know exactly what kind of tomato you're getting. Now this is just a small sandwich tomato. It's not the beef steak, so obviously I'm not going to have any beef steaks because they're labeled wrong. But when I plant these, I'm going to know what they are. Now you'll start these probably in about uh, end of March, early April. So that way they're big enough so that you can transplant them into your garden. It's that easy. Wash the gel off them. Let them dry. Put them in a package and save them till the next season. Now if you want to do peppers, Peppers the same way, but the peppers have to be have to be ripe. Don't use a green pepper that hasn't turned color yet. They gotta turn color. Leave it on the vine as long as you can. Cut it open, harvest the seeds, wash the seeds down, put them on a paper plate till they dry. One more thing, cucumbers. Everybody loves cucumbers. The same type of gel is in a cucumber that's in the tomato. But the key to harvesting the cucumber seed is to let the cucumber turn yellow, preferably on the vine. Pick it off, split it down the middle, harvest the seeds out, wash them off just like I did with the tomatoes. Let them dry out on a paper towel, package them. 
next year inside your house you're going to plant them early or if you live in a warm climate you can plant them whenever you want however up here in ontario canada we get some pretty cold winters so i will start them in the house like i said about the end of march early april and by the time planting season comes i'll be able to take them from the house to the garden and you've harvested your own seeds that way you know what you're getting man was that a disappointment walk out there with my bread and beef stick and get that never mind i'll know better next time and i'll know what i'm getting next time and so will you if you follow those simple methods it's that easy folks anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you enjoyed it harvesting your own seeds i'll see you on the next one and don't forget to get outside and enjoy the outdoors later